Teenager tells cop he's the missing boy who vanished in 2011 after mom wrote cryptic note. On the morning of May 11, 2011, Amy Fry Pitson checked her six-year-old son, Timothy, out of school. Amy and Timothy spent the next several days on a road trip together, visiting various zoos and amusement parks in Wisconsin. Timothy was last seen in a surveillance video checking out of a water park alongside his mother. The following day, Amy was found dead in a hotel room in Rockford, Illinois. Police said it was suicide, and loved ones claimed Amy had a history of depression. Amy also left a note behind, insisting her son was safe and in the care of someone who knew and loved him but she didn't provide any details as to Timothy's whereabouts. You'll never find him, she stated in the note, according to CNN. The consensus was that Amy did not harm her son. Police never gave up hope that Timothy was still alive, but the years passed by, and the case had gone cold. Until now because according to reports, there's been a huge potential break in the case. Nearly eight years after Timothy was last seen, a woman named Sharon Hall noticed a fidgety teenage boy wandering around near her car in Kentucky. The boy, 14, said he'd been running for two hours and had a stomachache. When police officers arrived, he said his name was Timothy Pitson, and he had a mind-blowing story to tell. Asterisk update, it's been reported that the young man claiming to be Timothy Pitson is, in fact, not him. A DNA test confirmed the man is not Timothy and now his grieving family is mourning the loss all over again.